and welcome to Star Wars for 100 Days, the ultimate fan countdown leading up to the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Today we're going to do something a little different. For the past couple weeks I've been reviewing and vlogging Star Wars Clone Wars, the 2003 hit animated series. But some brand new Star Wars The Force Awakens information just came out and I just want to talk about it and give my impressions. A brand new poster was just revealed and we also got three brand new clips. So first, Let's talk about this poster, which has one very big reveal in it that is very noticeable, but I just want to say that the overall look of the poster is awesome. It's definitely my favorite poster that they've shown for the movie thus far. It's the first one that when I saw it, I'm like, oh, I want to get that framed and put it next to all the other Star Wars movie posters. It'll just look so damn good. The poster is great, too, because it shows off what looks to be the main cast of this movie, and yet still no Luke Skywalker. They are keeping that guy so freaking secret. But what's really great right here is everybody gets to show off. What I really love is that Kylo Ren and Rey are right next to each other and it almost looks like both of their weapons are sort of like melding into each other almost as if it's insinuating that they have a strong relationship with one another whether it be that they're brother and sister maybe there's something romantic there. All I know is the internet is just going crazy with the theories and all the leaks that are coming out and still no one really knows anything too solid so I really can't wait to see if these characters are going to have a strong connection. You also have Finn who's brandishing his blue lightsaber. That looks really awesome. There's a lot of great shots of X-Wings and Poe Dameron, First Order Stormtroopers, Captain Phasma, who is front and center. The character I really cannot wait to see in action. Captain Phasma is going to kick all types of ass. What I really love, though, is just the classicness of this poster as well, which is all held together thanks to Han Solo being there, Princess Leia, R2-D2, C-3PO, and BB-8, who, despite the fact being new, just feels so classic. Not to mention, there's also this weird little alien who's just sort of hanging out there, just in the corner. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I'm always interested to see what that's going to be. Maybe an important character, maybe just a silly side character we'll have to see. But the biggest thing, without a doubt, in this poster, is hanging out on the right, appears to be some sort of brand new version of the Death Star. That's right, it looks like the First Order has created some sort of giant super weapon which may be able to destroy planets just like the old classic Ball of Death itself. This thing looks really awesome and it is very reminiscent of the Death Star, but it is still slightly different where it seems like the actual like gun or the cannon of the Death Star is protected by some sort of force field. Maybe this is how they're going to protect it now. Maybe it's not even the Death Star at all. Maybe this is actually Starkiller Base, the rumored home base of the First Order. And you know, that does kind of sound similar when you say it. Starkiller... Death Star, there are similarities there, but I imagine that this thing is going to be way more destructive and might even have a few other surprises. Hell, I think it might even have multiple cannons. We don't see it, its entire view. There could be like up to four on these things, which can fire in multiple directions, which I think would be pretty cool. But I'm really surprised that they decided to show this thing, because I had no idea that there was going to be anything like that in the movie. And again, it just makes it seem all the more classic. I can't wait to learn about this thing. So... That's the poster. It's amazing. If you guys want to look at it, check it out at StarWars.com. There will be a link for that in the description box below. The poster is what I used for the thumbnail of this video, and frankly, I just think it looks amazing. It was pretty much an instant desktop background for me. Just love everything about it. So, to go along with this poster, we also have some brand new clips, which these are also going to be a part of some brand new preview or trailer that's going to air tomorrow during Monday Night Football. So make sure to check that out. I'm going to do a live reaction for that trailer. That's probably going to be tomorrow's episode of Star Wars for 100 Days, and then we'll get back to the Star Wars Clone Wars reviews. But I have to admit, I went ahead and I looked at these clips, and if you guys want to see them too, I will put links for all of them in the description box below, because they are pretty freaking awesome. The first one features the character of Rey, who's being played by Daisy Ridley, and it opens up with just complete blackness. You don't see anything. All you hear are the sounds of TIE Fighters. Then when they cut to her, you see her looking up in the sky of this weird jungle planet when all of these TIE Fighters and First Order ships are flying over the planet getting ready to go into war. That combined with the John Williams musical score 
just sends such a chill down my spine. It's absolutely amazing. The second clip shows off the three brand new leads for the movie. You have Rey, who seems to be hanging out on the planet of Jakku, or some other random desert planet. You have the character of Poe Dameron, who's brandishing some sort of new blaster, hanging out, looking all awesome. You have Finn, who seems to be hanging out with Poe again, and all of these other Resistance fighters, and it looks like they're all getting ready to go into battle as well. And then that final classic shot of Kylo Ren igniting his lightsaber. The final clip is basically just more of the same, except that it's a more extended shot of uh, Finn actually seeing all the Resistance fighters. What's really cool, though, is as the clip ends, if you actually look in the background, you can see the Millennium Falcon is over there, so they're getting ready to take that thing into battle as well. There's just so many great feelings I get from watching these clips. It feels so distinctively classic Star Wars, and uh, you can imagine that probably within the next two months, uh, a lot of the marketing is really going to kick in, and we're going to start seeing a lot more commercials and trailers and previews, and uh, it's going to be really hard to not want to look at all of them. Um, I'm definitely going to take a look at the preview tomorrow, but that might be like my last one because I just don't want to be spoiled by anything. Uh, another thing that's really cool is we're also going to be able to start pre-ordering our tickets for the movie tomorrow. And uh, I highly recommend you do so, especially if you're going to a big midnight release. This is poised to be one of the biggest releases in movie history. I'm definitely going to get mine. And a lot of theaters are going to be doing a lot of big marathons where they're going to be showing all of the Star Wars movies, like from the prequels to the original trilogy, all the way leading up to this movie. So if that's something you want to do to experience it for the first time, do it, because it will blow your freaking mind. I, on the other hand, cannot stay up for that long, but uh, I am going to be marathoning a lot of the movies with my friends uh, starting up in a couple of weeks. We're going to be watching one movie each weekend leading up to that week of that movie, and then we're going to be going to the midnight release. Probably going to do a video for it, too, uh, just see if we can talk to people outside the theater and like see what their experiences were with it, and just to sort of like gauge the excitement, because it is building like so much it's hard to believe that it's two months away and uh it, it just it feels amazing it's the ultimate christmas present it's star wars the force awakens so uh thank you guys for watching before you leave i would love to hear your thoughts about this brand new poster what do you think of this supposed death star weapon do you think that's actually what it is or maybe it's just some sort of brand new home base for the first order or maybe it's something else entirely and what did you think of the clips that they revealed and uh, make sure to stay tuned for the brand new trailer tomorrow, it's going to be awesome. Uh, for everyone who's been watching my Star Wars videos, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. They definitely don't get as many views as my other videos, but uh, this is a passion project for me because I'm such a big Star Wars fan, and I only have so many friends that are kind of into Star Wars, so I don't really have a chance to sort of project my love for the series, and YouTube gives me the opportunity to do that, to share my love of Star Wars with you guys. So I really appreciate your viewership. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you can see all of our latest anime and manga reviews and Star Wars videos and whatever else we're working on. Thank you guys again for watching. And as always, may the Force be with you.